Okay. Just wanted to leave nothing to chance tonight to act like right from the beginning, just really a focus on picking up where you left off. Yeah, I thought McLeod's line started the game off and, and statement, right? And I thought they were amazing uh, the whole game. So that, that really gets, you know, the, the team started. Goal on the first shift and then obviously we followed up with another one. Um, and then you're up to nothing before you, you blink, so that makes the game a lot easier. Uh, especially coming off a long break, you wanted to get started quick and, and I thought we did. There was no rust. Like, I know we talked a little yeah. bit about that. Or is it, it, just, it was just the, you guys were so jacked to get back playing. It had been such a long time, I guess. I yeah, I think so. And I think, like I said, the, the start helps a lot, right? Like, guys who are ready to go out there and, and play even with, you know, a little bit of a layoff. So just a huge start. And, and then, obviously, we were able to settle in. And I thought Stu made some, some big saves. And, yeah, that was a, a great team win. When you're getting contributions from Fogel, from McLeod, from Yanmar, um, is it kind of like, just a built up thing, like when everyone's kind of going, or is like is everyone going and kind of just resonates through the lineup? Yeah, I think there's obviously individual confidence. I think there's team confidence. I think that you can kind of build off of both. When the yeah. team's doing well, you know, it gives you time to find your game. And I thought those guys were fantastic. The whole line was was unbelievable tonight. And like I said, set the tone from the start of the game, and and they chipped in um, throughout the whole game. You guys, you got five in a row here, and eight out of eleven, I think. Like the situation in the standings is a lot better than it was before. Yeah. What does this stretch sort of mean to your, your group right now? I think it's just it's calming, right? I think uh, we're we're just focused on we're not at score. We're watching it looking at standings right now. Like it's so early. We're, we've kind of been in a position since I've been here at least where we've always been kind of battling first half of the year and and obviously this year more so than than years past. But uh, I think it's just calming to get back on track to get back to the team that we know we can be and I think there's still room for us to grow and build and it's just great to to find our team confidence again and and play like this and you know we're going to continue to do it. Zach, aside from confidence can you pinpoint one or two things that you feel as a group have changed since that last last time you guys played Carolina a couple weeks ago? Sure I think just a, a commitment to limiting turnovers and errors we talk about mental mistakes and those are always going to be in the game like you're trying to make plays out there um, errors happen but I think limiting them and, and you know if there's a 50-50 maybe you don't take it right I think understanding when to take risk I think we've limited risk in, in our game I think our line rushes against have been way better that was something that plagued us and that has to do with turnovers a little bit but also a commitment to tracking back with, the, with our forwards and a commitment to holding lines with our DE so uh, and then I think Stu, like, I think Stu has really stepped up like, and really taken a hold of, uh, of the net and just played phenomenal. I mean, that's, that's really what it is. So um, it's great for our team to, to have him playing like that. Do you think that what you guys have been through here, and I know it's still early, you got a long way to go, but like you guys were a good team for a long time and then suddenly you just weren't for a while. Mm -hmm. Like it's been a bit, a bit sobering for you guys. You don't take for granted that it's just going to be there in a different way now? For sure, and I think it it's amplified when it happens at the beginning of the year, right? And we put so much time and commitment into into doing things right, and obviously it just didn't work in the beginning of the year. And I think I said it throughout the whole stretch is we're, we're very confident in our in our team and, and our ability to, to play up to our standard, and I think we're getting back on track, and uh, and it's great. I mean, it's great for the team. You've had a couple of really good offensive years personally. Is this the best you've ever felt offensively in this league? Uh, yeah, I think... Just for me, like, I try to get better every year. It's just, you know, it's pretty simple, but just try to work on things that I need to work on. And, um, yeah, sure. So, I mean, I play with pretty good players, too. So, I mean, Connor set me up pretty nicely for the third one. And, and then Nuge, you know, gave me a nice play for the second one. So, um, you got to have great, you know, line mates to, to be able to produce and fortunate to play with two of the best. So, how about the first one, though? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Um, just take it in that, right? I think that's kind of part of my game and mm, kind of building off of that and trying to, you know, not just take it in that, but try to score and make plays. And I think I've been growing that part of my game since I got in the league.